a very good evening to everyone. Welcome to this very special episode of the Chef's Kitchen. This is our very special edition, the Facebook Live edition of Chef's Kitchen, brought to you by the Norwegian Cultural Center. The Chef's Kitchen is one of the many cultural programs produced by the Norwegian Cultural Center. And for this program, we go beyond the kitchen, bringing you closer to the Norwegian culture through food. For this special edition, our viewers who comment and ask questions will, win, will stand a chance to win cool prizes from our sponsors, Pinkfish. And I'm Jacqueline, your host for today. And hi, and for today, we have our very special guest, our home chef, who is Sigrid Indeberg. Hi, Sigrid. You know, uh, many people believe that gourmet cuisine has got to be prepared by a gourmet chef. But actually, in a lot of people's heart, we have our very own gourmet chef, who is the one who do your cooking, whose food you grew up eating. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure, Sigrid, you have one too. And I would like to know what kind of special Norwegian home-cooked dish are you going to tell us today? Yeah, I was thinking to do a very typical way to prepare the salmon. Mm -hmm. So this is, we have like a salmon filet, mm -hmm. Norwegian of course. And then we're going to do boiled potatoes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a cucumber salad. Yep. Uh, and a nice uh, cream fresh sauce for that one. Yep. And, and what then, are the ingredients that we would actually need to make this possible? Yeah, for the cucumber salad, we mm -hmm. have uh, vinegar, mm -hmm. salt, sugar, mm -hmm. parsley, and some water. Okay. And um, for the cream sauce, we have the creme fraiche, sugar, dill, and some lemon. And ah. potatoes, of course. Okay. So what should we start with? <laughs> yes. The good thing is to start with boiling potatoes because that can take some time. Um, so here we have some potatoes. I like to peel them first, you know, otherwise uh -huh. you have to peel them afterwards. And it's, yeah. It's better. Okay. And put it in water. Okay. Not a lot of water, just so it covers the potatoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how long do we have to boil the potatoes? It's about 20 minutes. Depends the size of the potato. So you have to check it a little bit now and then. Mm -hmm. But around 20 minutes, let's get the heat up here. Okay. And then when it's done, you know, mm -hmm. you can try using a fork and try to check if it's really done. Uh -huh. just with the fork, are they soft, you know? Okay, so if you can poke it through, it is done. <laughs> yeah, not totally through because then it's too okay. mashed. But All then right. pour off the water and then put it back on the oven and take the lid a little bit like this. The steam will come out and they will be very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, then we should go on to the cucumber salad. Okay. Do you want to help out? Yes, I want to. <laughs> so how do I do that? Okay. <laughs> so first, we just chop out okay. this one. And then and we then. use this one. What is this? Yeah, what is this? This is a typical Norwegian invention, actually. Okay. It's the Ustehöver. It's the cheese slicer. Cheese slicer? Yeah. And it's easy. You just do like this. Oh, to make it go into very thin slices. Yeah, it's to a slice it very thin. Want to go have a go? Okay. Whoa. Okay. It looks easy, but it's not easy. <laughs> oh gosh, look at my cucumbers. It's, yeah, it's you need hot. to train for years, you know, and then we'll get to hang away. Oh. <laughs> oh God. You know what? I can take over this and you can start on the sauce. Okay, yeah. I think that, that might be better. <laughs> okay. okay, so for the sauce for the cucumber salad, mm -hmm. you will need four uh, tablespoons of water. Okay. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Okay, four tablespoons of water. One. I think this is easy. <laughs> Look at how fast she is doing it. I'm just like, wow. It's a skill. And two spoons. Two, two spoons of that one. Okay. One and two. And then one And we then have? Um, two spoons of sugar. Two teaspoons. Teaspoons. Teaspoon. Okay. Mm. One, two. Yeah. One teaspoon salt. One teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. do, do we do like a big teaspoon or just... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Mm. Okay. And some parsley. Just grab out. Okay. A little bit. Spread out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
And then, and then just stir it together. Stir uh, it together. Yeah, the sugar should dissolve, and when it's dissolved, it's ready. Okay. Okay, so I should not hear this sugar crystal, right? You can yeah. even do some pepper. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. To add some pepper into it as well. Hmm. Okay, and then... Okay, so when it's dissolved, we're just going to pour all the cucumber into this bowl and okay. we should toss it around. Oh, okay. So it is like, it's like a um, salad dressing. Kind of, yeah. You can even make this one the day before and just put it in the fridge. Ah. It'll be even better. Yeah. Okay, and toss it. Oh. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, this is easy. <laughs> Easier than trying to slice the, the cucumbers. Okay. Yeah, good. Good. All yeah. right. And then okay. we can just leave it on the side. And leave it on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Look, potatoes are coming to a boil like yeah. this. And just keep the heat quite low. Okay. They're not going to like boil on a very high heat. Fine, so we'll... Yeah, and all oh, dear viewers, while we are still cooking, please remember to comment and ask questions because this is how we will give you, we'll look for our winners, all right? So if you want to win some cool prizes from our sponsor, Pinkfish, please remember to comment. Ah, next. Next up is the salmon. Ah. So here we have a nice piece of Norwegian salmon fillet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll go with some salt. Okay. Some salt and some pepper maybe you can take off. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. Some pepper. And this one. We'll actually go without oil because there's a lot of fat, good oil in the salmon itself. Okay. So we'll just fry it in its own oil. Okay. Yeah, and all the starch with the skin down. Okay. Wouldn't the skin just stick? Shouldn't. It should not. Should have proper uh, salmon oil. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> so how do we know that uh, the salmon is cooked? Because a lot of people might just overcook the salmon and yeah. it actually tastes so dry. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a common question. So what I learned is that, so now it's with the skin down, mm -hmm. when it's fried, so one third is like pale pink or white, mm -hmm. then it's time to turn it around and then fry a little bit more so you can see it's getting almost ah, through. Ah, okay. And take it off before it's totally um, fried because then it will be dry. Okay. Okay, let's let it fry a bit here and then we'll do... Um, then we'll do some dill sauce. So here okay. we have uh, here we have some creme fraiche, or yep. um, yeah, creme fraiche, and uh, eat it only creme fraiche with the. That's yeah. also nice, like a natural creme fraiche, <laughs> like we showed you before. Sugar. Okay. I'll take one teaspoon of sugar. Okay, into the sour cream. Yeah, into the sour cream. And, and we'll do a teaspoon of chopped dill. dill. And, and we do some lemon. Ah, okay. You want to stir that around? Okay, so stir it. So this is the sauce for the salmon. Mm. Yep. Okay. It's nice because it's, um, this is a very typical Norwegian or Scandinavian. Uh, sauce for the fish um, because usually you would use maybe whipped cream or butter or something and it's getting very rich and yeah, like heavy it's meat. very rich and heavy this is very light and goes very well with the fish so it's a healthy option yeah and it's actually very easy to make yes it is Super right easy. yeah yeah and so as for salmon i i mean it's like i know in norway a lot of people um i mean Norway has got salmon, produces salmon. Mm. So do you fish your salmon or do you buy your salmon? I would buy the salmon, right? But if a lot of people do fishing in the rivers, for uh -huh. example, it's sport fishing. Uh -huh. So it's, uh, it's, you know, they'll go there and try to fish a super big fish, you know. Oh. Um, that's very popular. You have lots of good fishing rivers. 
Like I used to live close to one called Namsen in uh, Trendelag. Uh, the king actually used to go fish there as well. Oh, did yeah, you? Have yeah, you yeah, ever yeah. met the king? No, I haven't. <laughs> I'm not a big fisher actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Okay, but that you do fish and then you do cook your salmon. Yes. So when I was little, we used to we lived next to the fjord. Um, so we'd go to the fjord with the boat and um, uh, go fishing there, you know, with the family and uh, mostly cod and uh, not so much salmon there. But it was very nice and it's like a family activity, children and parents together. Oh. Then you eat your own food, it's very healthy. Ah, mm. okay, I, I think we do have some questions, he questions here. From from the from the different viewers, uh -huh. they are asking like, um, you don't. How do we? Why do we need to cook from the skin? Yeah, it's because you know, then it would it would contain more of the moisture. You know, ah, mm. okay. So you're getting the heat from that side first, and we'll fry much faster on the other side. So ah. first get the heat in through the skin, okay. and then to the other side. And how how do you use the Osterhover? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's like um, it's actually like a um, a knife. Okay, it's like a knife here. You see, we used to cut the cheese with it like this. Yeah, it's a cheese it, it, knife. <laughs> yeah, but we could use it for cucumber as well. Yeah, it's a very handy little thing, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I've tried it. I would have to say. It looks very easy when Sigrid tries to use it, but I tried it, but it's, it's not working very well. Yeah, and um, uh, somebody asked the same question, when the skin Oops. stick to the pan? Yeah. But actually, I think it, it won't. No, it won't. See, all this is the salmon's own, own oil. Mm. A very healthy oil. Yeah. Actually, in Norway, we give kids this fish oil. Yes. All year round to be healthy. Ah. I did, did it as a kid and my kids do it as well. Wow, mm. okay. And there's another question. Can the salmon actually go with teriyaki sauce? <laughs> yes, it's perfect. You it's know, perfect. Yeah. Salmon is good for so many sauces. In the Japanese option, the teriyaki sauce, so yummy. Yeah, Ooh. and I, I think there are, there's quite a lot of how, how do we, how, how do you know when to flip again? But we will, we will show you later when yeah. it's ready to be flipped. Let's yeah. look. You Let's see how, have a little how it looks here. Like. Yeah. So you see now, yeah. it's getting yeah. more, when it's one third pink, so it's very soon actually, then we're going to turn it around. Yeah. yeah. Can we see it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let's wait maybe half a minute more and then we'll flip around. So it's about one third. Yeah, one the third, then flip, flip it, it, and then it actually can rest. Mm. We'll also fry this resting off the pan afterwards. Mm. So yeah, so when there are, there are some questions asking how long do we cook the salmon, but I think it's always just yeah, looking it at it. It depends on the fillet. Is it big, you know, is it flat, is it, you know, mm -hmm. is it the whole fish, you know, it, it just depends. You need to, you need to just watch it. <laughs> yeah. But it's so easy to overcook it and then it's dry, you know. Yes, yeah. of course. And yeah, I mean, I, I could understand why because it's now... I could uh, smell it already. It smells so good now. <laughs> and I think we have another question. It's like, how often do Norwegians eat salmon? As we know, you produce salmon, but how often is it? I think the fish, um, the, the health, uh, the health uh, council in Norway, they would recommend people to eat at least three times a week. Mm. But I don't think people are doing that. Maybe twice, you know? In my family, we do twice. Twice ah. a week, yeah. Twice a uh, week. Yeah. So I think that's the normal. Mm. And I have a very interesting question here. It's like, is it legal to fish salmon in Norway? Depends. You know, you have, if you're fishing in this kind of the, the rivers, you know, the famous rivers for fishing, you need a certificate to fish there. Ah. Mm. You need to buy a certificate and then you can fish. Uh, to allow you to fish there. Yes, yes, yes. If you go illegal fishing, you might get uh, a fee. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, now this is this is something is good to know. Uh, yes, at least, it is, it at is, least we is. wouldn't go traveling in Norway and say I'm going to fish my own salmon for a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I think is it. Yeah, yeah. should we flip it? Yeah. Okay. So Oop, here we go. Flip it. Yeah, it looks good. So now we can see the skin is nicely done. Yeah, right? it's nicely done. And see, on this side it's already like light pink. Mm. On this side, a little bit more not done. Mm. I think just some minutes and then we can take it. Yeah. Okay. 
And then I see that we are preparing potatoes. I mean, are potatoes like a main staple in the Norwegian diet? It used to be. Like mm. in my childhood, we had potatoes a lot for dinner, you know, as a side dish. You know? uh-huh. uh, but now I think that they're, they're more diversified, what people eat. But we really, I grew up on a farm, and uh-huh. we had this huge potato field behind our house. So we would eat also, we would harvest a little potato and store it in the basement in our house. And we would have potatoes for the whole winter. Very nice. For the whole of winter? Yes, you yes, mean yes. you harvest it? Yeah. In autumn and the whole of winter, and we do know that Norwegian winters are super long. <laughs> you can you can have potatoes for the whole winter because in I mean it's like in Asia when we buy potatoes, we do know that when we keep it, we try to keep it uh, dry, but mm. somehow the roots start growing yeah, yeah, yeah. like very quickly. It's quick. normal. The trick is to keep it cold and keep it dark. So in our basement, very dark. And it used to be my, you know, my, my duty to go catch potatoes before dinner. And I was so scared. It was so dark down there. <laughs> ah, and so, so uh, in, in modern days, people don't eat potatoes as much. You, you eat other things as well. Yeah, you eat other things as well, like pasta and, uh, you know, quinoa salads. And the kitchen is getting more diversified. Mm. But since potato is quite a, a huge ing- ingredient, and you can do potato salad, you can do mashed potatoes, you can grilled potatoes. It's lots of stuff you can do with a potato, you know, as well. Yeah, of mm. course, because because potatoes is like, it's like one of the nicest dishes. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah, nice I love potatoes. potatoes. Yeah, mm. and it's also easy to make, easy mm. to cook. You yeah. know what, Noah, I think the film is done. Could you hand me a plate, please? And we'll, yes, sure. We'll put it over here so you can have a little rest. Yep. Okay. Great. Look at that nice filet. Ooh, this filet is almost yeah. done. Okay, so here we have it's some. It's really good. These potatoes already cooked. So we're mm. gonna put them on the plate. Yep. And then we have some other nice uh, sauce, and you can put on some cucumber salad, maybe. Yep. Okay. Where should I put the cucumber salad? Maybe on this side. Okay. Do some little onions over here. Okay. Okay. Wow. Just say bon appetit. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is done. Yeah. Oh, everyone, just look at this. You can can you smell it? I mean, it's like try to imagine. Okay, <laughs> all of us have good imagination. Time for dinner. Everyone has had salmon before. This is very. This is a very simple, delicious, and healthy dish. Very healthy. And, and I think you know, it's like how long did we take to make this? Like uh, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yeah, because I I do know that Norwegians actually have very early dinners. Mm. Like as early as like five o'clock. Yeah, five or six. You know, finish work, go home, make some dinner. And then it's about six. What time do you finish work? <laughs> well, usually people finish work at four or five. Okay. And and it's okay to leave because everyone has to pick up the kids in kindergarten and, you know, rush off. So you finish your work at four o'clock, you go to pick up your kids, you go buy your, buy your ingredients, mm. go home, make it 20 minutes, you are done and yeah. you eat it. Yeah. Oh, that's very early dinner. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. That's the Norwegian style. <laughs> it's a Norwegian style and it's very simple and this is a recipe that you you from your home from your family. Yes, yes, yes. It's a recipe for so many Norwegians, you know. Yeah, does mm. this make remind you of home? It does, you... it does. And especially in these times, you know, it's nice to just cook some home uh, homeish food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Mm. And yeah, we have to really thank everyone, all the viewers here today who's here with us and those of you who have who has commented um yeah i'm going to look at more of the questions like see what you are ah, cigarette i must say a lot of you say, say like love this recipe oh, yummy great. fast and very balanced balanced and yeah healthy and simple simple nutritious That's true impressive <laughs> <laughs> the, the salmon looks so good yeah <laughs> and everyone's like oh yeah and Oh, and there's a question. It's like other, other than pan fried salmon, are there any other more common ways that Norwegian, uh, enjoy a salmon? Yes, it's like it's very typical with smoked salmon. You know, 
uh, made by smoke, you know, and also the, the, the grey salmon. Oh, that is a way that you preserve your salmon. It's preserved in a kind of sauce with dill and sugar and salt, you know, and you preserve it and it's a uh, yeah, quite special flavor. Mm. So that's two other ways of eating it. Oh, ah, okay. Mm. And... Okay, and I think I, I think there's a there's some someone who actually asked to actually say like never sick of salmon, <laughs> and yeah, the staple food in Norway is uh. So what is the staple food in Norway now? Like the staple food. Yeah, I think it's it's more like a European style. Very European style. It could it's be still anything. a lot of fish, you know, pizza, tacos. You know, it's it's a blend. Yeah, I heard that there's a, there's this thing called Tacos Friday. Yeah, that's that's a huge one. It's but still we love our seafood. You know, our seafood is like in our hearts. Yes, yeah, yeah. seafood is no, yeah. <laughs> Norwegian <laughs> food. Yeah, All right. And I think I, I I think it's like there are people who are saying like um, can salmon be made in, like in a fish and chip style? Fish and chip. Yeah. I think so. Usually it's cons, you know, used uh, for fish and chips. Mm. But you could try salmon. I actually never tried that myself, but yeah, you could try. Okay, and I think uh, we have a question here which I would like to ask as well. Uh -huh. Can we have a substitute for a cucumber? I can. <laughs> you know, you can use whatever you like almost. You can have spinach, tomatoes, you mm. can have broccoli salad, quinoa, hummus. You can, whatever you like, whatever you think is good. Yeah, uh, something that is healthy and simple. I can right? understand because this cucumber salad, it's a bit special, you know. Mm. Uh, I grew up with it, so I li like it. Mm. But I think if it is the first time you taste it, it might be a little bit bitter. But actually, I think you can try. Yep. And also, can we... Oh, somewhere actually... Can we air fry the salmon? Hmm? Can we air fry? You know now, what's very popular is air fryer. Can we yeah. just... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we have not tried that. <laughs> tried. Yeah, maybe you could try and let us know how do you, how uh, whether we can air fry the salmon. And someone asked, is salmon expensive in Norway, or is it more it's, expensive here? Um, it's also expensive in Norway. It's also expensive. Yeah, it's in also Norway. expensive. Ah, so because we we do know that salmon is actually fished in a very sustainable way mm. in in Norway, mm. so there is a price to keep things sustainable, mm. right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, and I think I, I I think that oh, there's someone who wants to know more about NCC Norwegian Cultural Center. Yay. Yes, of course, it is <laughs> definitely open to public. And for Norwegian Cultural Center, we are a cultural center, so we have all sorts of programs. One of our programs is actually like a cooking, on um, cooking sessions, and we have workshops as well. It could be corporate, private. It depends on what you need and also through this cooking classes we because we are not a cooking school but this cooking classes is to actually let you understand more about the Norwegian culture mm, right mm. because we do know that the food actually tells you a lot about our culture true yeah and also is is like as we as we go along and uh, as we work together more we also realize that oh what you eat and what I and how I eat my salmon <laughs> how you eat your salmon is actually different and it's like but we enjoy the same thing mm. yeah like even when we use like um what is that coriander and dill this is like coriander is something very Chinese it's very <laughs> yeah Asian yeah. very Asian and no, but Chinese. I love coriander you know it's it's big in Norway as well now. Coriander. Yeah. Oh, mm. it's also big in Norway. Mm. Okay, great. <laughs> and I I think it's like oh, there are a lot of people talking about like different kinds of salmon dishes as mm. well. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And I think I think we do have like um people who are saying like salmon belly, and they learn. Oh, thank you. I think someone said learn so much about the food and the culture of oh, Norway. Yeah, yes, happy. of course. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. I I think this is. This is how we like to share, like the culture. Mm. Yeah, because every time, I mean, I think the very first time, I think maybe fun fact to share. I think the very first time, Sigrid told when she asked me what I know about Norway, and I told her salmon. Yeah, that was most people answering. Yeah, yeah and that was the only thing I say. And then as we as we work together more, we actually know more also to the food culture as well, and understanding that she she used to fish. Uh, when she was young, <laughs> yeah, and she lived on a farm and eating potatoes. Like, I mean, in growing up in Singapore, we don't have a chance of <laughs> digging our own potatoes to eat. It's yeah. very exotic for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, and I really, I really thank you. And those of you who actually want to know more information about Norwegian Cultural Center, 
we do have we we do have our website our instagram our facebook you can follow us on instagram and facebook and we have a website where we will also list our programs it's on social medias we have all our social medias we have lots of programs upcoming programs as well we have our quiz night and uh, next year we are going to have our children's theater which we have been preparing for almost a year now yeah so everything is uh is lined up and just waiting for you to join us yeah and i and now i am going to show you who are the winners for today and so we will show you on the screen this are the winners all right so we are going to show you the winners for today and those winners uh please when you see your names there send us uh send us a message you can send us a message either on facebook or on instagram or even email us as long as you do that uh you could claim your prizes so we have uh we have very very uh we have two winners for the 50 dollars on um, 50 dollars voucher steph leung and joanna joanna yours yours is joe <laughs> i'm not sure if i pronounce your name correctly i'm sorry if i pronounce it wrongly <laughs> yep and this uh we have two winners who are who are who are winning this 50 dollars ticket uh vouchers and then we have 10 winners and and later we will oh yeah because we are still looking for our 10 other 10 winners all right because we have another 10 winners who are going to get the 10 dollars ticket yeah so uh shall we recap like uh the ingredients we use for, yeah. to make this dish because i think some people might have forgotten <laughs> what was that so this is a good chance for you to actually um take down take like a pen paper to write down how to do it yes okay so with the cucumber salad mm -hmm. very simply you will need the vinegar mm -hmm. salt sugar parsley and water and of course cucumber and of course cucumber <laughs> And for the cream sauce, cream fresh, uh, with sugar, dill, and lemon. Yeah, sour cream, right? Sour can we, cream. Can we yeah. Use other kind of cream. Can, but I would use this uh, sour cream or mm. cream fresh. You know, it's, it's mm. lighter. Yeah. Okay. And of course, the Norwegian salmon fillet. Yep. Mm. And for the potatoes, we have to and boil boiled it. potatoes. Yes. So we don't have to do anything to the potatoes. We just boil it. Just boil it, peel it, and boil it. Twenty minutes is done. Mm, okay yeah. and for the salmon okay just remind everyone not to overcook it <laughs> <laughs> fry it and see and look at depending on the thickness one third one third flip it a little bit more and then be brave and take it off <laughs> yeah so if anyone tells you that no you have to be thoroughly cooked but the thing that we know is we do eat salmon sashimi you do so so salmon actually could be eaten raw so as long as it's good salmon good quality salmon we don't have to worry about that right mm -hmm. yeah so mm, and i think i i, I think there's a, a a lot of there's a question about how do we define winners <laughs> okay yeah so uh someone asked uh, how how do we how do we define winners? Uh, we have a very special we have a very special um, applications to 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 randomly select the winners because we have so many viewers today and I really thank all all those who are viewing today. All right, um, so we would we we really thank um, those of you who are here with us today and those who want to learn more. You could ask more questions and we will answer you. Oh, and some someone owes oh, there's someone who asked like is pan frying the salmon the best cooking method for a moist and tender fish? Can be if you fry it the right way. But mm. what I also like to use is the baked in the oven mm. in the foil. You just put it in for like 20, 20 minutes, twenty five minutes mm. with the foil around some oil and salt and pepper, and that's almost guaranteed a moist salmon. Okay, <laughs> and so now I think we have. We do have our 10 winners ready. All right. And so on the screen, you will now see the 10 winners for a $10 voucher. 
So um, Henriette, Nick, Chris, Paul, Janelle, Shirley, Bruno, Irene, Nico, Melissa. Ooh, yes. congrats. Congratulations to our winners for today and thank you very much to our sponsors, Pink Fish. Winners, please remember to write in to us whether it is through Facebook, uh, email or Instagram. So you contact us to claim your uh, vouchers. And those of you who would write, like to know more about Norwegian cultural centers and we welcome all kinds of feedbacks. Do let us know if you like any specific kinds of arts and culture program and we might have something that might be suitable for you. So visit our website and our Instagram, follow our Instagram, follow our, our Facebook. All right, and thank you everyone for being here today. Yeah. And thank, thank you for joining you. us. Yeah. See you next time. And thank you, Sigrid. So thank you, everyone. Bye. Okay, bye.